Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rishikesha. I'm a Vedic astrologer. This is going to be a very quick short video on Gupta Navratri. What you should do during this nine auspicious nights of Goddess Mother Divine, of Madurka. All right. First of all, Gupta Navratri is beginning from 10th of February 2024, Saturday, very early in the morning around 4 30 a.m., a few minutes here and there, depending on your local place. All right. Now, if you've got any wish, any strong desire that you want them to be fulfilled, you pray to the Goddess Mother for their fulfillment, for the manifestation of your desire. One. Second, for all those who are, you know, facing court battles in life, troubles related to court matters, okay? Troubles from enemies at workplaces, troubles from external enemies, secret enemies, all right, from Shatruta. You have to worship Goddess Durga in Navratri. Remember this always, okay? To be victorious over them, for protection. Also for all those, okay, who are fighting the inner evils, okay? Shadari poos, any kind of addictions that you can't get over, despite doing everything. You pray to the Goddess to give you the strength to be victorious over your Shadari poos, your inner evils, all right? See, remember in Mahabharata, Shri Krishna, he makes Arjun worship the Goddess Durga before embarking on war with the Kauravas. Okay. Similarly, in Ramayana, Sri Ram worships Goddess Durga with the Navarna Mantra. Okay. Before embarking on war with Ravan. In life, if you want to be victorious, okay, if you want the blessings of victory in your life, it is compulsory for you to worship the Goddess Mother Divine. Goddess Durga, any form of Goddess Mother. It is essential. Without her worship, you cannot win in life. Okay? Now, what are you supposed to do? Let me you know, tell you the ritual. This is a very simple ritual. There are no complications. Do not complicate it further by doubts and overthinking. All right? During these nine nights, starting from Saturday, in the nights, okay, in the nights, simply light a lamp, a ghee lamp or an oil lamp, doesn't matter what matters is your faith, your bhakti, all right? So light the lamp, light an incense stick in front of any picture of Goddess Mother, any picture that you have, all right? There are multiple forms of Mother, but at the end of the day, she's simply Ma, Mother, Goddess Mother, all right? If you have any wish or strong desire, you convey it to her, and you pray to her to fulfill that desire of yours. And then you proceed to do two mantras. One, a very simple mantra, a namaskar mantra of the goddess. A namaskar mantra is enough. Do not fall into the traps of you know, lengthy, complicated mantras, thinking that they will work better. There's nothing like that. It's a myth. What works is your faith. What works is what you you know your feeling. What are your bhavas during that ritual for the goddess mother? What is your intent? All these things matter more than the kind of mantra that you're doing. So simple mantras always work the best. Okay, so one mantra, you have to do one mala, you have to do of Goddess Turka. All right. And the second you have to do is a Shiva mantra. A Shiva mantra, basically, you need to do. Why? You should never worship mother alone. Shiva Shakti, Ardhan Areshwar, Okay, they are always worshipped together. Remember, Sri Ganesh worshipped Shiv Shakti together. Okay. Never worship them alone. Okay, never worship Lord Shiva alone. Never worship Goddess Mother alone. Always worship them together. It is essential. Otherwise, all your sadhanas, all your mantras will fail. Okay. If you want to know more, you can read, and you can Google and read the story about uh, bring Rishi. It will tell you the story in depth of why you need to worship the Shiv Shakti together. Now, so one round of mala, 108 times you do the Goddess Durga Mantra and then 100 times you do the Shiva Mantra that I have mentioned below in the description box. Okay, very simply you do this for the entire nine nights of Gupta Navratri. See, basically Gupta Navratri, it is as best to worship the Dasa Mahavidyas. Okay. 
but without knowledge you should not touch mahavidyas okay it is for skilled sadhaka sadhakas with experience okay so if you live in a normal materialistic life it is best to do a somya a worship of goddess durga okay simple mantras best for you now a new thing that i'm going to share with you here is that this is only for those people who are going through severe depression okay mental afflictions the state of mind is in a very dark place you know for those who are also getting you know suicidal thoughts all right you have to do the chanting of kali bija mantra the bija mantra of kali ma okay for 5 minutes or 10 minutes i've mentioned that below as well in the description box below okay i need to do the kali mata bija mantra chanting for 5 minutes or 10 minutes okay and then you do the shiva mantra as well together this is only for those people who are going through you know uh such symptoms in life depression anxiety very severe anxiety okay mental disturbance imbalance okay facing severe severe depression you have to worship goddess kali in the gupta navratri this time along with shiva mahadev rest all of you can simply do the durga and shiva mantra for the fulfillment of your wish and desires okay, this is a very simple ritual keep it simple do not fall into any other kind of trappings you know shiv shakti is a form they basically they have a mother and father mata pita swarupa what they care is only your bhava your feeling your intent nothing else okay so keep the ritual very simple do your chanting in the night and ask for the blessings of shiv shakti to be upon you and your family always okay without them nothing can be achieved in this world or the three worlds all right so this is it thank you so much for listening till here and uh, if you like the video like press the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and i'll see you soon with another interesting topic related to vedic astrology hari om tatsat